All right, David Harry here. So getting straight into this, why have Elgato not given us any kind of capture app on Apple Silicon Mac? Or indeed, as far as I'm aware, they've never had a capture app on any Mac devices. However, I'm for sure right now there definitely is not a capture utility for Apple Silicon Macs. Now, that is one question, which I think there's going to be a lot of people out there wondering why that hasn't happened. However, there's a second question here, which I'm not entirely sure that a lot of people are aware of the actual ramifications of this one. And that is Elgato have already got a capture utility, which they could give us on Apple Silicon Max to use for doing capturing. And that is called Elgato Capture, which is an app which is available for iPads. Now, what it is, anything that's available on an Apple Silicon iPad is also, if the manufacturer wants it to be, compatible with Apple Silicon Max. So what I tried to do recently was to install Elgato Capture onto my MacBook Pro M1 Max. So what I'm gonna do here is just show you the results of trying to install the app onto a Mac. Okay, so I am onto my MacBook Pro M1 Max here. And as we can see on the desktop, I have got this file here, which says, capture 1.1.2.ipa now this is indeed the elgato capture app which is what you would use on an ipad however what i've done here is to use imazing to download the app to my macbook so i can attempt to install it on my macbook now just to be clear these apps which are designed to run on apple silicon ipads are 100 percent compatible with apple silicon mac products and the reason why is because they both use the arm apple silicon processors so if this file has not been blocked for usage on a mac product it will install on a mac so let me just try and install it Okay, as we could see there, immediately it did go to the installer, which proves that this type of file is indeed compatible with a Mac. However, we then get this message here, which says, unable to install Capture. This application cannot be installed because the developer did not intend for it to run on this platform. Now, what you have got to understand with that message it is not saying that the app is incompatible with the platform. What it is saying is that the developer didn't intend for it to run on this platform. So once again, and just to be clear, this app does have the ability to run on this platform. Technically, it's just that Elgato have deliberately stopped it from running on this platform. Hence, you can't install it onto Apple Silicon Mac Pro. Products. Okay, so just to be super clear about this one, this Elgato Capture app, which is available for the iPads, is actually something that will run on a Mac if Elgato allowed it to do that. So what I want to know here is why Elgato haven't allowed this to happen. Now, for anybody out there who might be questioning the validity of what I've just said, there's going to be links in the video description below taking you to a couple of videos that I'd done a few years back as soon as Apple Silicon come out with the M1 Mac Mini. And what I'd done on that video or both of these videos that I will link to is to show and prove that the IPA files from even an iPhone, but definitely off an iPad, would load onto an M1 Mac. And indeed, this did happen. But what I also proved with these videos is that, in this instance, it was actually Activision and the Call of Duty mobile game. Once Activision had realized that they didn't block the game from being installed onto Mac, they then went ahead and put a block on the game after I showed that it could be used which basically meant that nobody could then install the game onto a Mac or Apple Silicon Mac. And in the process, unfortunately, I got banned because I was accused of cheating by Activision, which
which wasn't the case anyway and nonetheless i have totally proven that these things are possible and on top of that you don't have to take my word for it as well there are a number of different apps which are the exact same app on the iPad App Store and also the Mac OS App Store. So there are certain things, I believe maybe LumaFusion is one of them that can do that as well. And there's a whole host of other ones as well where the developer has just gone, yeah, do you know what? We don't mind. We're going to allow people on Mac to use this app. Now, here's the thing. I could understand if this were a paid app and the developer doesn't want to just go, hold on a minute. So what you're saying, Apple, is that when somebody on a like an iPad pad or like on an iphone buys this app they automatically get it for use on a mac i'm sorry but that means that we're going to lose money now i can understand that being the case and i would totally agree with developers that they shouldn't allow their stuff to be given away for free without any extra money being paid to them just because somebody bought it for one of their devices however what you have to remember here this particular app is free so it's not as if elgato were going to be losing money on it and on top of that it would also mean that if they did allow for the installation of the app onto apple silicon max they would keep people like me a little bit quieter and quite possibly happy although there are a number of issues with the app and i will go into that in another video anywho i think my job here has been done so please do let me know in the comments what you think of this one and also have a look at some of my other videos that i've done recently there will be a playlist to do with some of this elgato stuff because at the moment elgato have been doing some really nasty shenanigans to do with their latest usb capture card which isn't working correctly on apple silicon and elgato are continuing to sell it as something that is totally compatible when it is not and there's a whole mess going on there which you can find out in my other videos anywho i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now